Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, Ditto, and Boo. The Lucky Pharaohs. It is 8.54 a.m. And I checked the security camera footage this morning to see what Ditto was up to. And uh, maybe like an hour or two ago, he was laying here. Uh, then he got up and he jumped down onto this new rug. Uh, the I call it the scratching mat. And I thought he was going to scratch on it, but he did not scratch on it. Instead, he vomited on it. So this is where he vomited on it. And I'm going to try to clean that up. I don't know how much it will clean up because this is an absorbent material. So I'll do the best that I can. So after seeing like all the grooming he's doing and all this cat hair that's come off of him, I kind of expect him to have a hairball. So that's what I think uh, he's trying to get up with the vomiting. So we'll see how it goes. Um, I'm going to put some extra fish oil in his breakfast today. Try to move things around. And last night he ate the chew root that was on this plate. Here he is now. He's under the day sofa. Um, so what happened was um, I set him up in here last night um, when I was going to bed. And there was a nightlight on. And I had nature videos on for him. And he was um, happily relaxing on the day sofa. But then I got up at 2 o'clock in the morning because... I heard like rain outside because we had two bands of storms come through yesterday. So the second batch that hit around 2 a.m. woke me up and I said, let me go check on Ditto. And I was looking at the security camera footage and I noticed he wasn't sleeping at all. So I was like, well, maybe I should shut off those nature videos and maybe he'll get some sleep. So I shut off the nature videos and then I was watching him from the security camera and Instead of sleeping, he then started roaming around the room and he jumped up by the window and he was sitting on the shelf by the window and he was looking out the window instead of sleeping. Uh, but that's also when I saw him use the litter box and then I saw him eat the churu that was on the plate. So um, I guess he was like, well, I'm not tired, so I want to watch something, so I'm going to go look at the window. Now, I did not want him getting agitated or upset when he was looking out the window and then, like, wanting to go out or anything like that. So um, probably 20 or 30 minutes later, I actually came back in the room, and I put the nature videos on for him, and he went back onto the day sofa, and he was perfectly happy on the day sofa the rest of the night. So... Um, Ditto really enjoys just hanging out in this room and watching TV. It's amazing how much cats love nature videos. It is 9.19 a.m. And I just gave Ditto some breakfast. I gave him some homemade raw food. And I put some of the herbs in there, the herb mixture. You want it, Ditto? You want to eat it? Okay, so I'll leave him alone to eat. I'm gonna go feed the other cats and then we'll be back and I'll give Ditto the second half of his breakfast if he eats this first half. I'm just about to feed the other cats, but I wanna tell you what's been going on down here. So here's Stella and Simba and there's Splash and there's the uh, dinner plates from last night. They like to lick them clean in the middle of the night if they get hungry. So last night I noticed that Simba and Splash were hanging out down here. And they look like they're up to no good. Like, you know, when a cat just gets that up to no good look about them. And I couldn't figure out why they were down here. I'm like, this is strange. Why are they down here? Well, I found out today. I just found out, Simba. How you doing, Splashy? This is why they were down here. See that? That's a dead centipede. One of those house centipedes. So I'm going to clean it up. But they were hunting. Good job, guys. Good job. It is 9.43 a.m. and I'm still feeding cats. This is Hydrox eating some canned food with the same uh, herbal mixture that I'm giving to Ditto. So um, with Boo, I have to sit there and watch him eat it. And uh, it takes a while. 
and then um, just to make sure everyone gets fed it's been like a half hour now this is what happens if I leave Boo alone to finish his meal what happens is he comes to get me like I was just in the kitchen feeding Hydrox and then all of a sudden Boo shows up and he's looking at me and he's like someone's eating my food someone's eating my food and then I came back in this room and sure enough Splash was eating Boo's food and Stella was waiting for her turn all right, let's check on Ditto. Here he is under the day sofa. And here's his meal. I would say he ate maybe half of it. I'm gonna give him the other half of his meal and I mixed in some salmon oil to the second half because if he has a hairball, it'll help move it along. I should also point out that he's been getting super large portions of food since he's been in the house. And as he has spent more time in the house, his metabolism is adjusting to less activity. When he was living outside, he was constantly wandering around the place and uh, um, he was much more active living outside. And uh, living inside, he's much less active. So if he starts eating less naturally, um, that's fine. I'm not going to force him to eat what he doesn't want to eat. But if he is hungry, I just want to make sure that he gets, gets enough food. So, I'm going to leave him here right now, and I'll be back. Hydrox just ate all of his food, so I gave him some more. It's a little while later, and I thought I would check on Ditto and see how he did with his breakfast. How you doing, Dittos? And that's what he did. He almost ate everything. Good job. Good job, Ditto. I'm putting the rest on this tray for him if he wants to eat them later. He's been using his litter box a lot, and this one too. It is 2.13 p.m. And I just gave Ditto a churu. We want to see how well he eats it. If he's sneezing, if he's coughing. He still sounds congested. I did not add anything to the churu, so it's just a plain churu. Uh, I think it's chicken with tuna. Or chicken with salmon. Okay, let me turn it around. There you go. You want to get those pieces over there? Just the little pieces. No? Hey, Dittos. Hello, Ditto. You done? Okay, did a good job. You ate, you ate all of it. This is what the plate looks like today. Did a really good job eating it. I don't see any blood on this plate, so that's a good sign. It is 8.08 .08 p.m. and I just came outside to do a little cleanup and to fill up the water bowls and I just saw this. I was wondering what this was. I saw this from the window, but I really couldn't get a good view of it. But now that I see it up closer, I could tell that it looks like a bird's nest. I don't know how it got here. I don't know if it just fell out of one of the trees, which is like directly above us. See, that's directly above us. It 
could have just fallen out of a tree or I don't know if some kind of predator uh, got to it and knocked it out of the tree so um, yeah this is the first time that I've seen a nest in the yard it is 8 42 p.m. and Ditto did not eat the first half of his dinner uh, I don't know why so I'm gonna go Put some salmon oil in the second half and see if he'll eat it. Or actually, maybe I'll put some salmon oil in this first half and see if he'll eat it. I just mixed in maybe like half a teaspoon of salmon oil. We'll see if he eats that. It's actually good that he didn't eat it because I totally forgot about putting the salmon oil in it. So fish oil is good for inflammation. It is anti-inflammatory. It's also good for hairballs. I don't see any puke or anything in the room today, so hopefully uh, he won't be puking more. He ate it all. I'm going to mix in a little tuna to the rest of the food. There's the second half of his meal. I mixed in about a teaspoon of tuna. It's more than enough, so I'm happy if he doesn't even finish that. And this is what the scratching rug looks like. So I sprayed it with the pet friendly rug cleaner and it just made a big stain. I thought it would dry out, but no, it just made a stain. So it doesn't look very nice at all. So we'll see if he uses this to scratch on. If he scratches on this rug, I'll keep it here. But if he doesn't scratch on it, then I'm just gonna put it outside. It is 8.55 p.m. I just put a second plate of food out for a Hydrox because he ate the food that I gave him before. And I turned around and I looked and there was a raccoon eating it. And Hydrox was like sitting here. The raccoon was eating it here. Hydrox just went over to finish what was left in it. So what I then did was I got the loaf of bread uh, that I had. I still have this loaf of bread from when I was putting the party platters out for the raccoons. And I threw like, I don't know, like eight or ten pieces out uh, into the yard. Right now there's a raccoon eating one of the pieces of bread. And I was like, let them eat bread and, um, you know, stay away from the cat food. So they're obviously hungry because there's no dry food in the feeder. There hasn't been dry food in the feeder for a few days because I want Hydrox to eat soft food and not the uh, hard dry food. So I have to remember to put some kind of food out for the raccoons. Might have to go to like uh, Aldi or uh, Dollar Tree or something and just pick up some cheap food for them. It is 10.46 p.m. and I'm giving Ditto his nighttime snack. He's getting a little bit of canned tuna and I put about four drops of CBD oil on it because it would be nice for him to relax and get some good sleep. And the serving size says half a dropper, so I'm not even giving him uh, like a full serving. I'm just giving him a little bit. You want to eat it, Ditto? It's a snack. It's a snack. You could eat it. You don't want it? You could eat it.
So Ditto finished his tuna snack and he also finished his dinner which was on the plate on the left. And when he sneezed, I do see a little bit of blood tinged saliva on the plate. So um, he still has some kind of like infection or some kind of ulceration um, in his mouth or his throat or his sinuses. So I'm going to keep him under observation and um, yeah, we're just going to keep feeding him healthy food and having him relax. Thank you for watching this Lucky Farrell's video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.